Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest clock tower. There are no quest stats or item requirements. And for the recommended items, as always, some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion. Maybe also a super energy potion depending on your agility level. And also depending on your hit points level, bring along some food to pass aggressive level 53 ogres. For the teleports, a Ardoin cloak. And then also one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is here at the clock tower just south of the Ardoin Zoo. Let's talk to brother Kojo and select option 1. After the conversation is over, let's climb downstairs and follow the path. Until you see the four doors. Let's take the southeastern one, the red door at the red pattern. And let's already take the easiest one where we will need to have our food. These three yellow dots are a level 53 ogres. Go to the red dot on your minimap, pick up the red cog, and let's teleport back to the Ardoin Monastery using the Ardoin Cloak or run all the way back. Once you have the red cog, let's return to the main floor of the clock tower. Once we're back on the main floor of the clock tower, let's go to the center and you will find a square. Go to the northern side of it and use your red cock on the red cock spindle. And it should fit perfectly. Next, let's use our RD cloak teleport again and let's run north. Keep running north until you see a water sign and a red dot. Pick up the bucket spawn and then use your bucket on the well next to it. Next, go a bit northeast and behind the oak tree you'll find a ladder. Climb down and follow this path. And that is basically it what we will need to do to obtain the blue cock. Just follow this path until the end. Alright, at the end, push the wall, grab the blue cock and climb up the ladder. Next, let's go north and now we will need to go back to the center to climb up the staircase in the southeastern corner. We will now need to go to the first floor and let's go to the southern part and use the blue cock on the southern clock spindle and let's go back downstairs. Let's go back to the basement. Let's return to the four colors. And let's now use our bucket of water by opening the northeastern door, the black one. And follow this path. Alright, so let's open this door and at the fire we'll find the red dot and the black cock. Use your bucket of water on it and then pick it up. Next, let's return back to the basement. We will need to go back to the ladder. You may drop your bucket, it is 2 kilograms or less in your inventory. And once we're here at the square in the basement, we will need to use our black cock on the eastern clock spindle. It fits perfectly. Let's go back to the pattern. And let's now take the last one, the white door, the northeastern one. 
Follow the path until it splits and take the western one to the red dot. There you'll find some red poison. Take it and then take the other path going east. Pause the metal fence until you see a small wall. There you'll find two levers. Switch both of them, so the western one going up and the eastern one going down. Alright, next let's go inside of the rat pin and on the southern part you will find a food trough. Use your rat poison on it and they should start a small cutscene. Once rats are dead, let's go west and open the door. Be sure to click to continue and pick up the white cock. Let's climb up the ladder. And let's return back inside the clock tower. And now we will need to go to the top floor. On the top floor we will need to use this white cock on the western clock spindle. Once we've done that, let's climb back down to the main floor. And let's return to Brother Kojo to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed Clock Tower Quest. You are awarded with one quest point and 500 GP. This was my quick guide how to complete the Clock Tower Quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.